Okay, I was going to start by giving the definition of a gambit. Uh, in chess, it's um, a play at which the player risks one or more uh, pieces in order to gain an advantage. I actually learned chess after I learned pool. Um, I learned pool like when I was eight, summer school. Uh, no, not summer school, summer camp. Um, in pool, a gambit is when you risk your turn. Um, all you're doing is putting one of your, say your solids, one of your solid balls right up alongside um, one of the strike balls. That's the other player's ball. Uh, thus making either one impossible to hit. A full gambit in that is uh, to use one of your balls to reflect one of their balls into a position at which makes both of their balls. Reflect one of their balls next to their ball at which makes both of those balls impossible to shoot into any given pocket. It's usually right up against the shortest side of the rails. Um, now, you, you lose your chance at um, much because your opponent, and usually, I mean, unless you're really good, your opponent ends up getting um, a ball in hand. Uh, none of your balls actually end up touching a rail. So that's a technical ball in hand. It's like um, uh, putting... Um, anyways. Um, and, and it's an interesting move. Uh, and it looks like that's what, um, what we're looking at with CCS and the school district. Sorry, I'll try and stop this whole uh, looking at you thing because I'm sure that reflection of the ring light is annoying. But hey, the glasses are not as askew as you think, and it's not my eyes. Um, it just looks worse when my head's pointed that way. So, we have two uh, roads to go down. Um, one of them, if all the parties in the Fremont Unified School District um, understood what they were told and relayed it in a group which is some meeting you're having tomorrow um then it would be pretty understandable what what road we're going down which is a pointing out that there's fraudulent activity on a school campus but not by the school district uh b uh, there is medical procedures being done on campus, but not by the school district. Um, C, those medical procedures um, were fraught with difficulty, and that's putting it nicely. Um, that ended up with a surgical outcome. Um, and it turns out that surgical outcome is actually very standard and normal, uh, which is something I can't let go. Um, and I have to explain that reason right now. I can't let go of that simply because the MTU recommended that we go see a doctor at Stanford. Now, this is fairly normal because we see neurology at Stanford. Um, but it turns out, I found out, uh, later, much later, a year later, more than a year later, uh, after speaking with lawyers, that that doctor is actually the expert witness for, um, for the defense of other doctors and other service providers. Um, he's the guy that writes the medical opinion that says, no, no, no. I'm a professional doctor. This is totally above board. This is cool. This is the way we do things. And I would love to see him do that in this instance, but there's no way that's going to happen. Certain truths have to come out, and I can't honestly believe that 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 guy, after seeing this, okay, would uh, actually put his name in the court document on it. Um, 
he would probably just retire. I'm sure he's made quite a bit of money for his retirement, um, being the medical expert, as well as being the orthopedic surgeon um, for Stanford. Uh, he is of the age, um, and he would just let it go. Uh, but th this this is uh, a foam. Let me do this for you. Foam uh, golf ball. It's a practice golf ball that's been cut to measure the actual amount of padding that was in um, Williams AFO ankle foot orthotic. Uh, when I say doing medical procedures on school campus, William was casted for his AFO on campus at Glenkler. Um, other things we know, uh, I know, just because I'm in the middle of it all and I hear people say things and they speak out of turn. Um, like, But I never told you that. I only told those guys that. Um, and it's, it's more than one simple occasion. Um, but going down that legal path nets William nothing. Um, monetarily, uh, technically, I think it would probably make a lot more people upset, um, which isn't a big deal. We're talking about moving out of state. I mean, let's be honest. You guys are nuts. Um, it had to be said. From our perspective, you're nuts. I mean, I had to, I didn't have to, but I successfully became the president of the PTA and did my best to help out and le learned a lot. Um, certain things like uh, how to remove uh, CCS from school campuses um, is probably virtually impossible. This is where I started with Gambit. Not the comic book character, the the act of putting someone, well, between a rock and a hard place, basically. Um, we could continue down the road we're on and probably get a lot of people into some serious trouble. Or... I could choose to disregard the knowledge I have and speak as though everybody did a great job. Well, as good as they could. Because we all live under rules. Uh, CCS, California Children's Medical Services, uh, is under the rules of um, providing the lowest bid of anything that is medically certified within a book of 300 or plus pages of many different types of medical equipment that are certified to handle many types of medical problems or issues like an AFO, ankle foot orthotic. Um, and they go for the, the least bitter. So let's, let's just say, because we can, I can, I seriously can, I can just say, Hey, they say this is okay. And two state complaints, I should say, two complaints to a state agency that handles as if they are the medical board for physical therapists. Um, technically, the board is what gets the complaint, but it's the um, consumer protection services that, that runs, whoops, sorry about that, that runs the complaint process with an uh, i guess a tertiary medical professional um let me say they came to a conclusion which is that this is okay and that whole process of of doing that on state state school campuses is okay there's nothing legally wrong about it nobody did anything wrong because that's what they said that's public knowledge um we could go down that road I'm actually thinking that's the better road to go down. Um, simply because it, it leaves the school district on the hook for this. 
Um, again, the medical procedure started on a school campus in a s school room that was leased out to a state agency that is, according to another state agency, doing everything by their book, their book of rules. Um, for instance, putting this into something that was perfectly casted to match the contours of my child's leg. Um, obviously, it's not this. And obviously, it doesn't look like a big bump like that. It actually curves out nice and neat. I mean, it really, you can even, it looks, so like, it, th there are actual um, different, co co well, there's only two colors. Um, but it's all layered like that. And you can see how it looks like a topographical map as it's slowly curved out. Um, it allowed for the, the, the orthotic to be slid up the leg. But of course, once it's, there's Velcro straps. So once it's Velcro strapped in, basically you have that. Um, and there is one thing I can tell you. This foam is foamier, it's softer. The foam they use is medical grade, whatever it's called. Um, and it is hard. It's a hard foam. Th th this, this is a, a walk in the park comparatively. Um, so, uh, apparently the school district is okay with substandard care. Uh, approximately two years after a 2017 ruling from the Supreme Court where um, standard care wasn't good enough for special needs. Um, uh, it, it was decided by the Supreme Court of the United States that ambitious care, or rather, uh, what did they say, appropriately, it is that, that uh, special needs needs to be appropriately ambitious um, not just appropriate appropriate services no appropriately ambitious services this is the opposite of that this substandard it resulted in the need for more than a year of of a lot of processes a lot of people's time um, and uh, ultimately surgery. Um, now, what saddens me here is that that surgery is considered normal. Um, and what saddens me even greatly is that, as we said earlier, the state already said it's normal to do stuff like this which means this has been done before. I used to play tennis. I was actually ranked in the USTA. Uh, I've, I've had drop foot before. Um, I know what it feels like. I know what it comes from. I've, I used to play soccer. Uh, I was the goalie um, and the forward. I know what shin splints are. Um, I had almost all of the muscles in my right quad ripped out. Uh, I have a medical record bigger than my son's at the moment. Um, and that's just up until I was uh, 16. Um, you know, there's a lot that can be discussed, but ultimately the easiest route uh, is to say that um, you have an organization that's renting space from you um, through an MOU, which you could probably try and kick them out on, but I'm pretty sure they would just go and call one of their friends over in the Alameda County District, um, and maybe a friend up in Sacramento, uh, and, you know, uh, would have, you know, their space back in like one hour or one day. Um, so a, a complaint needs to go to Sacramento. A complaint needs to go to state. Um, as I wrote this, I've been rewriting complaints. Um, 
you know, as Raul knows, I've been playing a little chess, um, but I'm also, and usually do play, um, a form of Tetris with my words. Basically, I, I create paragraphs of, of good sentence, good, good thought, good thought, good thought. And then I order them up, right? Nope, nope, that one needs to come down here. And then, oh, that, I'm missing something in the middle. Wait, put it up here and put something in there. Uh, there we go. Um, so, something needs to go to the state. And it can either talk a lot about uh, conspiracy to commit fraud, fraud, uh, liable, technically, uh, technically, intimidating, wait, yeah, intimidating slander, uh, with intent to liable, followed up by slander, I'm sorry, intimidating liable with intent to slander followed up by slander which then makes it liable um it, it, that's actually how how it worked and i understand that libel is a written word and slander is a spoken word so if anybody's thinking i'm nuts um you know that monitor is being held up by uh well a very nice book um so, I mean, what, what do we want the complaint to be? Do we want the complaint to be... legal terms? Or do we want it to be, you know, what it is, but toned down? Um, to the point of, they're talking to their aides, their aides are talking to your aides. Their standards are lower than your standards that makes this wholly inappropriate they shouldn't be on campus and since their standards were actually upheld by a state board through a state process which is a part of the consumer protection agency the the medical board physical therapist complaints they get the whole process starts with the consumer protection agency but they get, a, they, they talk to the board and then someone, one of those two parties hires or has a, a medical professional on staff and they review stuff and I'm, I'm assuming they talked to the doc, uh, they're not doctors, the, to the therapist, the rapist. Um, and, and that's just basically the whole thing. Um, which road do we want to go down? How is it a gambit? Let's get back to that. Um, you know, ultimately, for two complaints to take one year, and they both actually relate to each other. Um, and considering that they went as far as to kick William out originally, uh, and this is in writing, um, they, they didn't kick him out. Uh, they're not, they're putting his file on hold while um, they review the complaints. Uh, going to never not being allowed back and then going to um, not being allowed in. That's the full kicking out. Well, I mean, I guess so being put on hold to review the complaints, then not doing anything. Um, and then uh, being kicked out of that specific MTU. Uh, there are no nearby MTUs. There's only one other, I think, in Alameda County, and it's about an hour's drive away. Uh, well, it's about an hour and 15 in traffic, about 45 to 50 in not traffic. Um, to uh, finally just, you know, you can't go to any CCS in California. Um, you know, there's a fair amount of uh, liable and slander that have been going on. There's a, a fair amount of people making up stories and, and, well, committing honest fraud. How many times do we want to use the word fraud in any given complaint? And I think the answer is hopefully none. Um, so finding a way to 
turn it into, oh yeah, dude, you guys are totally right. But by the way, that's below our standards, man. And it's not just below our standards, like, you know, that, that whole Supreme Court thing. It's actually below the standards of, of every school in California. And unfortunately, you're going to no longer have uh, a place of business on a school district. Um, so, sorry. Uh, but hey, guess what? Jeff actually found you an excellent office space. And I did. I really did. It's over in Hayward. It's right next to National Seating and Mobility, which is one of their major vendors. Um, and, you know, and, and uh, you know, it's just another line item for the state budget. It doesn't even have to be a line item. It just it's it's an expense in the back end of California Child Services. You know, I'm I don't know what they pay. Well, okay, I'm not going to say that, but I'm sure that they they don't pay the the city of Fremont very much for the space they use at the Glinkler School. I do know though that all of the classes within the Fremont School District have raised their class size due to a lack of space. Um, and I know that even though that's just an elementary school, uh, that would be an extra, well, I mean, it, not this year, certainly. Um, if you started after Christmas uh, with construction and putting up basically just walls in there, you could get three classrooms out of it, uh, totaling 50 to 60 kids. I'm sorry, 60 to 70 kids. Uh, and that, that would greatly reduce the, the burden. Uh, I mean, it, it's, I'm just trying to show you that it is really win-win. Um, I mean, like when you get more space for kids, when you don't have to deal with all the drama, when uh, I get to take away a toy from you guys, uh, a, or rather a tool. Um, and, and that's not the win I wanted, but it's the win that's correct. Um, you know, when a school starts misusing its tools, they, they don't get to use them anymore. Um, and quite frankly, the school works for the state, not the city. At the end of the day, you work for the person giving you your money. And although some of that comes from what little the city can offset, the majority of it comes from a general budget that you could not link one dollar to all of the property taxes in this area you couldn't and i would actually think that would be one job of a city control comptroller right city comptroller one job of theirs find out how many actual units you got find out how much the best you can get to exactly how much property taxes are paid and then see if you can take that number up to the state and say, hey, state, you're not giving us nearly our cut in property taxes. Eh, I don't think they're, they're really too short by much. Um, once you guys start with all of these new housing units and stuff, they will be short by quite a bit. Um, I am also a, a, one of those people that also believe that the biggest problems with school is that after a certain period of time, administration starts to bloat uh, and you end up having too many administrators, not enough teachers. And then you have to correct and mm, administrators don't normally correct in that direction because then they're letting go of their own staff in order to hire uh, non-staff um, teachers. So, yay, 25 minutes. I need a writer.